Okay, so hello everybody. I'm uh, Dr. P. Patrick again. So now I'm going to talk about the case four. Case four is by using the uh, questions uh, example that is in here. So given that the data of stock price of gold company and the price of gold in the past trading nine days. So you are now given that stock price of company and also the price of gold. Okay, so now what you are going to say is that you are going to test 10, a 10 percent significance level whether there is any linear relationship between the gold company and the price of gold in past nine days. Okay, so what does it mean by the case for? Is that the case for is a test for linear relationship between the two datas. Okay, so for the two datas, of course, it means the population datas. But since we have a lot of datas about the stock price of company, because uh, of course there will be a lot of training days. Gold price, of course, there is a long, long history. So that's why if we want to find out whether there is any relationship between gold company and price of gold, we have to select the sample. So these nine days are the sample. Okay, so in case four, what we are going to use is that we have to use the t-test again. So for the t-test, of course we need to set up for the two hypotheses. Okay, for the null hypothesis, uh, since in the linear relationship it's very easy to set the hypothesis because either we have no relationship. So, see, this, this is not P actually. This is a Greek letter which is similar to P and this is uh, called rho. And this is a population correlation coefficient. Okay, remember in the previous lecture, if the correlation coefficient is zero, so that means there is no linear relationship. Okay, and then for the alternative side, and since this is a zero, so that means rho is unequal to zero. If the correlation coefficient is not equal to zero, so that means we have the linear relationship. So I'm not uh, care about whether the linear relationship is positive or negative. All we care is uh, whether they have relationship or whether do whether they do not have any relationship. Okay, so what's next is uh, basically what we need to use is the t-test. Okay, so now the test is, so I write down all the symbol first of all. Okay, so I explain one by one. So this uh, is r, r means the same pole correlation coefficient. This symbol, rho, means the same as here, population Co uh, correlation coefficient. Uh, this R of course is the same as here and the N is the sample size and in this case this should be 9 okay because there are 9 days. Okay how to find the R? Make sure that you will be given two data set press your calculators and then you will get the correlation coefficient to be equals to minus 0 0.062 x9 x be careful that you need to take as much decimal places as possible otherwise the final answer will be a little bit de uh, deviated from the correct answers next part so if you do not know how to get this number so please refer back to the previous video so I will talk about uh, how to calculate the correlation coefficient by the calculators and then um, this is R. Okay, so minus the rho, rho once again is the same as what the value you are testing in the null hypothesis. So in this case, 
it must be zero. So in these cases, no other number is put in this position. Okay, so you have to divide by square root of one minus minus zero point zero six two eight nine eight and then bracket square. Okay, divided by n minus two. So as I said, n is equal to nine and then minus two. So basically, the final answer is minus zero point one six six seven. One more time. Uh, what you are, what we are going to do is to check the table. So I first of all draw a graph. Again, okay. draw a graph again. Okay. So this is a T table, T graphing, and then um, go back to the alternative hypothesis. This is a two tail, two tail test. So what it means by two tail test once again is if you go back to the 10% significance level, this is the percentage you reject the null hypothesis. So if it is a two tail test, so that means we have to break it down into two parts. So both are 5% and then we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so the next part is we have to check the T table. Okay, we have to check the T table. So for the T table, so the degree of freedom. Okay, so we go back to the T table, the degree of freedom, so this time should be equal to seven. Because in this hypothesis testing, N minus two is the degree of freedom. So N is nine and then minus two is seven. So go, go back to here, so this is a seven. We look horizontally and then vertically. So we have to focus back on here. So this is a 5% for the upper tail area. Okay, so look at 0 0.05 and then seven. The number cross should be 1.8946. Okay, so that's why this is 1.8946. And on the other hand, this is minus 1.8946. So going back to here, so this test that T6 is minus 0 0.1667. So this number should be in this position. Okay, so if, so as you are, uh, as we said that we do not reject the null hypothesis when the test that T6 is close to zero. So finally, in this case, the conclusion is we do not reject the null hypothesis rho equals to zero. So if we do not reject, so that means the left hand side is true. So if this is true, so that means this is already the answer. And we write the conclusion. The conclusion is that, just write down, there is no linear relationship. Okay, the conclusion is there is no linear relationship. Between the two data, and that finished all the case for.